Welcome to this Great Grades Maths video which is part of Module 1 Using Numbers and this is video part 2, the number line and negative numbers. And so in this video we're going to cover what the number line is and how we can use it and how this is particularly helpful with regard to doing maths with negative numbers. And we'll also look at how we can define some rules using the number line about how to combine different positive and negative numbers together. So let's look at the number line. What exactly is the number line? Well the number line is an imaginary line upon which all of the real numbers are placed. And so here is a depiction of a small part of the number line. And notice that there are three different parts to it. First of all we can see that the negative numbers are on the left hand side here as depicted in red. Then we have the positive numbers on the right hand side here as depicted in blue and that we have zero in the middle. Now the number line is very useful for us in understanding how to add and subtract different positive and negative numbers. If we think about using the number line when we when two numbers are added we always move right on the number line. And just to illustrate that, let's try to do the sum 1 plus 3, which we know what the answer to this is, that it is 4. So we start at 1, and we move right 3 places, and that takes us to the number 4. So the answer, of course, is 4. In a similar way, when two numbers are subtracted, we move to the left of the number line. So again, to show that, let's try to do this sum 5 minus 3 using the number line, which we know the answer to this will be 2. So we start at 5, and we move to the left 3 places, and that takes us to the number 2. So the answer is 2. Now these rules also include negative numbers. So for instance, let's try to use the number line to perform this calculation minus 4 plus 3. So again, we start at minus 4, and because we are adding the numbers together, we move to the right-hand side. So we move to the right-hand side three places, and that takes us to minus 1. So minus 4 plus 3 is equal to minus 1. Let's try again two other numbers, this time minus 1, minus 2. So we start at minus 1, and because we're subtracting, we move instead of the right, but to the left now. So we move to the left two places, and that takes us to minus 3. So minus 1, minus 2 is equal to minus 3. And here, hopefully, you can see how the number line is very useful in performing these subtractions and additions, which aren't as straightforward as other ones. So using the number line, we can come up with various rules on how we combine different positive and negative numbers together. So the, our first rule is that if we have two positive numbers, if we combine these two together, then they will give us a positive number overall. And this is quite obvious. This is something that we use all the time without realising. Our next rule is that if we have a positive number and we combine it with a negative number, well then the answer will be negative overall. And this is quite straightforward again. Our third rule is very similar to the second rule. And it says that instead of, at this time, if we take a negative number and combine it with a positive number, well that will give us a negative number overall. And really this is the same as the second rule, except that notice the order in which the numbers are combined is, is different. And so it doesn't matter what the order of the numbers are. If we have a positive number combined in some way with a negative number, then we will get a negative number overall. And then our third rule, which is probably one of the most useful rules, is that if we have two negative numbers that we combine together, well then our answer shall be positive. So let's try to use these rules then to perform a calculation. So minus 2 times 3. So first of all we have to uh, find out which rule we need to use. So here we have a negative number and a positive number. So we need to use the third rule and that tells us that by combining these two numbers together the answer will be negative overall. So we can do the calculation 2 times 3 
which gives us 6, and the answer will be negative, so our answer will be minus 6. Let's try to do another example now. This time, minus 8 divided by minus 2. So again, our first step is that we have to uh, work out or decide which rule we have to use. So here, we have a negative number, and we're using it with another negative number. So we need to use the fourth rule, which tells us when we combine two negative numbers together, we will get a positive number overall. So our answer to this sum will be positive. So 8 divided by 2, well that's equal to 4. So our answer is, minus, is plus 4. Thanks for watching this Great Grades Maths video. For notes about this topic, practice questions, and for further videos, please visit greatgradestuition.com.